Hi from the parks. Welcome to Carlsbad and it's um, 1991, the end of the year. And just wanted to say hello to everybody and give you a little preview of our year. This is uh, 1780 Andrea and this is the living room. was uh, exactly a year ago this time that we, Russ and I, went on our big vacation to New England. We uh, landed in Boston and went to Newport, had a great week. Uh, rode Hello. Did you make the sale? Yeah. Is were, you, this, <laughs> were you selling another truck? No. I was doing Is this the UG tape? Yeah. Hi, UG. <laughs> <laughs> and Gatchels. And the Gatchels. Oh, yeah. this is a combo tape. Don't look at me. I'm all dirty. And I'm, He's in his work mode. I'm in my work mode and I'm off doing errands. I've got a, a whole list of stuff to do. <laughs> That's me. Maybe I'll talk to you later. Good. Show you the truck I just painted. <laughs> oh, we want you to talk about the satellite. But Later. Nah, I feel like satellite. satellite. Yeah, show them the satellite. This is it. Uh, we spend most of our hours here in this room, as you guys know, I'm sure. Treasures of our travels, some of them up here. and I just got back from um, Sequoia National Park in Central California and uh, a couple months ago we went to Yosemite National Park so maybe we'll attach some video of those wonderful vacations. Huey. Huey Lewis. Our Champs Elysees. Head down the Champs Elysees. <laughs> I don't know if you can get these pictures. There's a lot of glare. These are kind of old family portraits, the whole group. <laughs> And this way to Travis's room. Neat as a pin. In Trav's room are some more of our mementos from our travels. It's a 
is some of Travis's artwork, along with uh, some of his other favorite pieces from Nanzenji Temple in um, Japan. And uh, Drinking Tiger, I think it's called. And uh, from Nijo Castle. The Hawk Painting by Kano Tanzu. And Travis's favorite souvenir, his Shogun helmet. Where are we going next? Uh, let's check out one more bedroom. The guest room. <laughs> Actually, uh, this Yuji stayed in this room. Jason used to stay in this room. Right now, I have a guest staying in this room. My sister is down here staying. <laughs> and last but not least, this is Russ is in my room. It's not a, a not a tatami mat, but the next best thing. This is my scrapbook from Japan. You do appreciate some of my scrapbooks, I think. Probably Vance also. I think I'm just going to spend the rest of the day looking through my scrapbooks. This is my scrapbook of our New England trip. This is your favorite vehicle, right? <laughs> and this is the yeah, this is the famous videographer that's been uh, shooting this video. This is my sister Judith, Judy Armstead. What's been your uh, favorite video production, Judith? Oh, my. You said you were going to ask something. I didn't think it'd be that. Yeah? Um, uh, you mean professional? Uh, this, or non-professional. What's, what's your favorite uh, project? This is my favorite project right now. This, because it's what you're working on. Yeah. <laughs> what about uh, what you got your, your Oscar for? Uh, that was a good project. No, I was thinking of your trip. Oh, your fiftieth oh, anniversary Paris. trip. Yeah. Get the apple tree. There's an avocado tree and a plum tree and an apricot tree, and. I can't stop. Stop already. On 70 miles an hour and I'm looking, I'm just waiting for it to turn sideways and start wiping out cars. It was like a spear. It hit the freeway and started skidding off. It was just like a, a, somebody shot an arrow and went right off to the side of the freeway. <laughs> uh, we, we have the... Uh, Beautiful the, truck. Yeah, this is the truck I just finished. Uh, finished kind of re refurbing. It was pretty much of a junk pile when I got it, but... It's quite something now. Yeah, it, I'm pretty kind of happy with it. I painted this. It's, of course, everybody says it looks like a Navy truck now with this color, but that's okay. 
I welded up the bumpers, and I just came back from the steel store. I'm going to make a roof rack. Good. Because we're going to be doing some construction. We're going to might put a second story on the garage up there. Maybe make a little place for Travis or whatever. An apartment, right? Yeah, an apartment. So, but I got to offload all this stuff because Travis is borrowing the truck this evening. He's going to work. Yeah, he didn't care anything about the truck, but now that I've got the stereo <laughs> in there, all of a sudden now I know. Now he wants to deliver pizzas in this. Yeah. <laughs> Instead uh, of this. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't blame him. But you don't even know, do you? Because no, there's so know. many. It's, uh, I, I guesstimate about, uh, uh, let's see, 20, uh, probably a couple hundred. Can you tell me what bird it's pointed at right now? Well, I'm not quite sure, but I think this is close, closer to the east coast. It, it, it goes in an arc from there over to here, the mm -hmm. west coast and the east coast. Uh, it's probably somewhere over the Midwest right now. And it gets uh, how many birds? It gets uh, about... Uh, nine or ten satellites, I would say, maybe twelve. I'd have to look at the channels, and each one has a potential of 24 channels. This is Car City here, Russ. Oh, really? <laughs> I know, I should have, because it's lit. Oh, yeah, not only did they save the dash, but um, the only thing that's kind of weird, Trav, yeah. I think works good, but the, the what's going to drive you crazy is the shift knob. It, it wobbles, but it doesn't come off. <laughs> okay, say goodbye to Japan. Bye. Put this seat back. That as far back as it goes. Push the push the whole thing back. I think it should go back farther. I mean, you can get some more inches out of that seat. Yeah. It's going to need them. I'll tell him to put a seatbelt on and he's mad at me. <laughs> Safety first. Pizza delivery man. After, after his first delivery, he's going to take Yeah, off. I know. It must be a nuisance. Capitan. first morning when we woke up and look at all the snow and that's Beth over there by the camper and look at the spectacular half dome absolutely gorgeous I'm going to swing up just from the other view and you can see the Yosemite Falls up there we didn't expect this weather by golly it is so pretty okay, it's Saturday morning at Yosemite and we're here at Curry Village and this is a 
stair step falls that uh, kind of trickles down the face of there's this glacier point up there. So beautiful, isn't it? It's very picturesque here. We're waiting for the shuttle. We're going to go hike up to... Sunday morning, is it, honey? Yeah, Sunday morning, Yosemite, at the uh, base of Yosemite Falls. You can, see, you can see the falls up through the trees there. These have to be white tails. Mule deer. Mm -hmm. They're so pretty. Here you are on Sunday morning. In this beautiful meadow, and now we have Cathedral Rock, beautiful valley. And I'm going to swing over and I'm going to see the face of El Capitan. And this is where lots and lots of rock climbers climb up to. That's beautiful. That's our camper. Just looking up at El Capitan here. Well, you've been up real fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're at Yosemite. 
Yosemite and this is Vernal Falls. Or no, I'm sorry, this is Bridal Veil Falls. It's very misty. meadows in the middle of Yosemite Valley with the lower Yosemite Falls and upper Yosemite Falls. And over here is the arches and North Dome. Uh, Royal Arches, Washington Column, North, or half North Dome, then Half Dome. And over here is Glacier Point. and up to Sentinel Rock. Put your hand out. You got any in your hand? Put your hand out. Maybe he'll sniff it. I can get this picture.
o'clock at night, I guess, huh? About ready to have some hot chocolate. Hi, Dad. The stop sign stop. Well, you got it. You're going to take care of it. <laughs> this is the Merced River. Yep. Yeah. Our kids should be doing this. <laughs> In Yosemite, we go from the Grounds where we're staying at to the famous Awani Hotel. This hotel has been here for over 100 years. It's very exclusive and it's right in the center of Yosemite Valley. With Yosemite waterfalls off the hill over here and Half Dome behind it. Another view of the Iwani. It's very pretty. You're going to see some water coming down right off the. Yeah. So, this is uh, the falls that we saw coming off the face behind the Wahani Hotel. And what it is, it's got so much water, it's going right across one of the uh, trails. See the trail goes all back there? And only during the spring will it be. Here we are again, it's the base of those falls. This is this, it's cracking. Watch this. I'm looking straight up. show this on the maps anymore, but Bethna from her childhood, she's going to go exploring. There's more over here. Big old rock. We were back in the caves. All back in there, and you can see where they had fires and whatever. The perfect spot. You can just see where they had a. It's amazing what it'll do. It's way back in here. It's, oh, it's so cool. Real cold. Can you see me? <laughs> I don't know. We'll yeah. find out. Yep. Sam Beth Sampson just split this rock. <laughs> Here we are. This is the Yosemite Stables. And they're really busy, and today's even a Monday. They have horses and mules. And I'm 
not sure what time it is. It's in the afternoon, but boy, the parking lot is full. There you go. Three o'clock to five o'clock ride, it looks like. Hey, this is Tuesday morning and we're on our way out. I'm going to turn it off because here comes the car again. Like that. And beautiful Yosemite Valley. So pretty. It's in the morning. This is uh, Bridal Veil Falls and Half Dome and El Capitan, the whole valley. Largest living thing on earth. Get it right. It's not a redwood, it's a sequoia. That's a sequoia. We've got a. We're going to have to start this off. Expert old. here. Yeah. Yeah. Still up is General Sherman. Backing off a little bit to take a look at it. It's so huge. If I remember right, I think they said that first branch up, up there is eight feet in diameter. How there. old is it? We're in Congress Grove on a little three mile hike. There's lots of um, the sequoia redwood. Down here is called the Senate. right in the middle of the Congress group now, looking straight up. You can see where it's burned out here. And there's the arsonist. Right there. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> Where's 
stars and stripes. Starting to pick up, the flag
the Morgan, which is a whaling ship, we're down in the hull of the boat with the big Because of the type of fishing they were doing, Whoa. they were going to sea anywhere from four to six weeks at a time, and it was not economical to try to run a steamboat or a powerboat out to do this type of fishing. 
Toba. Yeah, I think it's, I think we're on we're on board the very first nuclear submarine, USS Nautilus, at Gales Ferry, Connecticut. And here's one for you. See this trash that runs there? Yeah. You know what that's for? No. Well, what happens is if you're out at sea, we're actually up a little bit above where, where yeah. it would normally be. But if you can see the, see the breeze, mm -hmm. you can very easily get washed over. Oh, so yeah. that's a, a running track. You, it's a little thing you hook in there with a lifeline on it. Yeah. And then that way, if you get swept overboard, it can haul you back in. Oh, I see. It's a lifeline.
drawing to the end of the season. As a matter of fact, I hope to be in uh, New York by the end of the week myself. But um, you see, yesterday we had a group of, of people arrive for tea with mother after mother had left, and they all had invitations. I, I, I hope none of you have invitations to see mother today. Uh, oh good, <laughs> oh good. No positive answer, so we'll take that as a negative. Uh, you know, because we apparently have a jokester or two in our staff who just thought it would be just terribly funny to have people arrive to see mother when she isn't here. But um, unfortunately, we didn't find it terribly funny. We're currently um, trying to find out just who that was. But um, at any rate, uh, you are here for dinner, though. I take it to spend the day and uh, have a bit of dinner at the end of the day and so forth. Uh, good, good. I, I hope you gentlemen brought your uh, your smoking jackets with you then. Hunt, when he mounted this mirror, he absolutely insisted that it would help make the room look larger. Now, um, personally, I, I don't exactly see where it does that, but then um, I didn't pay for it either, did I? <laughs> it was all mother's money, but I suppose what she thinks is what counts, isn't it? But I'm sure, of course, all you ladies shop at the house of work. Do you not? Of course, all the very best ladies do. You know, as a matter of fact, Mr. Worth, um, well, he all but gave the dress to mother, you know. Uh, he gave it to her for a mere $30,000. Of course, worth much more than that. I suppose he knew that uh, why she was going to be wearing it in the portrait. That's probably Margot, you think? Well,
Yeah, no rear enders. do it so much or else it looks real bad. are at uh, Fort Adams on uh, in September 1990 at um, uh, a lovely noon, a little hazy, but so lovely. Mm -hmm. This is our house. is built in 1878. You see the plaque on the front. Uh, and Robert E. Lee had something to do with it. He was in charge of uh, something like uh, the papers or something during the time that it was done. Oh, can we walk through the house a little bit and see some stuff? Okay, now if you can shoot up, it's our tin ceiling. Oh, yes. So precious. And so we have two tin ceilings. Step up, Russ. Two ceilings. <laughs> oh. <Boink>. <laughs> this is a lemon chest from Belgium. Mm. Two tin ceilings. 
Oh, this is. And this is an 18th century uh, uh, British English piece. And it's uh, before they put, you know how they put the um, numbers on it, the dates? This was pre that. Mm. Pre the dates. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. And we have our stair, all my ornamental rugs. So I'm used to all oh. up in one room. What's upstairs? She didn't say it. Oh. We have upstairs. What? What did you do? Did you do you love or not? <laughs> upstairs we have. Bedrooms. Mm -hmm. And wait, we have to get the, we have to definitely yes. get the, um, uh, the ladder going up the stairs. Oh, yeah. Don't you think? But after, let me take a view of this beautiful room. I just love the high ceiling. Can you take a picture of the mantle? That's Jagasuk. Interesting. Yeah, somebody picked up everything. Oh, right there. The fireplace doesn't work and that's okay. You keep saying, who cares? <laughs> This is a beautiful lovely dining room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Just everything so gorgeous. Oh, Going through our little little study here. Look at mm -hmm. this. Look at this. Don't you think you have to get this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is Lucy up to Lee's room. <laughs> this is the room to the stairs to where. It used to. The since it's an addition. It used to be a back stairs, but they had much. Can't you just see the disaster? <laughs> We have something here that is so delicious. Um, here, this is my brick collection oh, yes. that I bought at the uh, the Jeu de Ball, the, uh, flea market in uh, Brussels, mm -hmm. most of it, and that's my white collection, oh, yeah. which I really like better because it, it has more forms and stuff. this I couldn't find as many shapes, mm -hmm. but anyway, I, I like them. Right? Did you have to get to see my breadboard? My bread boards, yeah. bread, bread, so adorable, bread. Oh, look at the same bread. <laughs> okay. Oh, my bread board. Can we pick it? Goes the entire house. Oh, no way. Yes. It's so full. <laughs> Finally got the bun shot. Take too many pictures of the <laughs> <Dad's> drum. <laughs> yeah, sure. 
Uh, so anyway, this is Tad's room that we don't oh. ever fuss at him. He can do what he wants in here. Yes. And then that goes, this goes to Lee's room. Oh, yes. Do you well, remember? That's, that's to the lock. To Lee's room. Yes. Yeah. you know yeah. that. Let's go ahead. real quick into Banks' room. I don't know if I made up the better. Yes, you did, you did. Kind of. <laughs> Banks actually has a view of the water if you're very careful on a good day. Mm. I love this, this uh, chart. Oh, my, this is my Russian poster. Yes, of the... Uh, yeah. And the comic book. And the comic book. Oh, yeah. The house here with the uh, green roof was at one time Robert Goulet's house, and now it's the private college. Seven.
was one of the Vanderbilt's house and we're in Newport the back end of this house has the Chinese tea room and there's seven million dollars worth of marble that were put into this in uh, 1892 it's one of the few facts I remember of the breakers in Newport terracotta front, made to look like stone, built in 1902. And it had the biggest uh, ballroom? Oh, the biggest ballroom in all of Newport, yes. Still in Newport, we're at Chateau sur Mer. This is built in 1877, one of the earlier chateaus, and it's styled after a French chateau, and it, the front lawn's supposed to go all the way down to the ocean front. It's lovely. What? So you said that five lobster we brought today. Mm. Put them in the sink so they're easier to grab. Oh boy. Come on, fellas. They're fighting to get out. <laughs> That's it. Get Beth. She's, no, she's no, hiding no. in the corner. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Feeling pretty relaxed. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes. Okay, so where, where are we photographing? The lobster. <coughs> I think I'll wait till it gets rolling a little. Like Andy Hall. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> you well, remember. I don't move, I'm going to have a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 
Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Ted, right, let me go. see, let me see. Oh, can you get it in the water there? Okay. Oh, wonderful. Let me out, let me out. Okay, who else is going to do their credit their last year? Oh, I really don't think that. <laughs> Beth? Beth A? Let me try one. It's claws are here. I'll get okay, the camera. Yeah. No, no there's one. no easy way. You just have to pick Is them up. Is there an easy one? Get the dead one. <laughs> you pick them up from, from behind. Like now, that. they all have to cook at the same time. Now, well, oh, I can't do it. I'm <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. I can't. You can. Just touch it. Touch it. He moved, didn't he? Touch. He might move, too. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty, you want to get one? No way. Oh, please. No, I ain't going to do it. No. So I'm a Woody Allen. <laughs> <laughs> they were still moving around with that. Yeah. I guess the water was boiling. Just when you put that man again here, it takes a while. To okay. You get a flash in the pan, and the main charge doesn't go off. So you have a pick, and you got what's left of a brush. To just clean the pan every now and again. I'll count to three again. One, two, three. That's all over the highway there. Yeah, <laughs> over the water too. Okay. That's just the way it goes. Yeah. Here's, here's something that's growing in our herb garden uh, now. And uh, this, this spot was damaged, so. Uh, Weather to grow uh, to its full size and develop the, uh, the seeds. Uh, the, the fibers uh, where the seeds form. First, identify. Village, it, and it's uh, Tuesday, September 11th. This is a farming museum town in Massachusetts. Yeah, about what era? Uh, 1830s to uh, early. We have to live too, you know. <laughs>
uh, to uh, 1849, when at the age of 82, he had a partial stroke. And of course, the fastest method of transportation was the Arabian saddle horse, because those were the first of the imported stock. Signed for Olmsted Gardens. We're at Hammersmith Farm in Newport on Fort Point, Branson Cove. And this is the Hammersmith Farm. This was the Kennedy uh, White House during the years 1961 to 1963. Also the site of the Kennedy wedding reception right here in the gardens out here. And um, exactly 38 years ago today, September 12, 1953, the wedding reception was held here. Yes, it is. That Frederick Law Olmsted designed for the Achenschlag, the family of uh, We're in Newport, and it's Wednesday, September 12th. We're now at the Elms. This is our last mansion stop, we think. This was built in 1901 by Mr. Berwind, who was a coal magnate, uh, one of the nouveau riche here in Newport. Yeah. 
We're on Cape Cod in the town of Sandwich, and this is the Hoxie House. The year of this house is 1630, and uh, it's like a little museum house. Beautiful location. The salt box. Salt box house, that's right. This is the perfect example of a salt box house. Go ahead and stop for just a second, because I want you to continue to stop. We're in Cape Cod out at the Cape Cod National Seashore and uh, just viewing a lovely family enjoying the day at the beach in New England. <laughs> we just caught this uh, little flash of flowers, uh, showers and uh, there's a little bit of thunder and lightning. It's absolutely beautiful. We're at Plymouth Plantation in Massachusetts, about, what, 30, 40 miles south of Boston. And this is a museum village of the Pilgrim time. Japan, present, give, fire. 
Recover your feet, recover your mat. Lead him into the rear. Forward march. Go. Present. And give fire. Recover your mat, recover your feet. mattresses, uh, hope they work out there. Yeah. What they are, they're old fire department mattresses, and actually, we liked them, I liked them better than the... And this is a wedding wreath? Right. My daughter has her hair still up in a coif, but in the afternoon we will take the coif off. See, it's written down in the Bible that a good Christian woman should always wear a coif, but on the day of her wedding, she can have her hair down, and she will look pretty. For her wedding. A special no, you dress? may come inside and we, we have her wedding gown on top of her bed. Right. This is her skirt and an, an, an inner skirt on top. We have been sewing that for the last couple of months. We have been sewing and sewing for we have been uh, sewing her linens as well. This is her dowry chest. Mm. So just before the wedding, we will put that on to her. Right now she's still walking about in her work clothes. Um, food's at the table right here. Have you been talking about the young ladies? Well, I told them uh, well, I've got the pie and the cheese and the meal. Um, I don't know what they are. And most of this is still for cooking. There's some pancakes and uh, there's some pickles. The first name. There's uh, pickles of the uh, cucumbers and parsley, and pickled cabbage somewhere here. And uh, some of the neighbours are cooking. She's my mistress. She's cooking uh, some duck soup, which she's doing with onions and lovage. Yeah. And uh, okay. Mistress Brewster is making. Uh, Good party. Good party. Mm -hmm. yeah, just here. Here. It's my daughter's service. Yeah, that's what she is. <laughs> she's very excited to be <laughs> form of splitting called riving, where I split the wood with the grain of it using, a, this is a called a fro, this tool here, uh, which is a riving break, which I'm using here to do it with. Usually. You mean the last one, right? That was when I was hired again. Well, I said, you know, when he was in London last year, he hired me come and dwell with his family. Mm -hmm. And then oh, and so that the oh yeah. Oh no, that's fun. But then so we've always I we've always done here since I was in London. You know, 
yeah. A stand new gown? And I, and I never uh, just made this health stuff. And what is your name? I'm Goodman Ken. And this is the house that you're over here. Is this uh, kind of very nice? Are you the governor? Or the well, I, I, I am the governor of this house. Uh, I don't want this house rather than setting this house, but also the town. Um, but I think as a man's house here has a lot to do with uh, his office so much as his own, his own industry, I think, and endeavor to construct it. should labor that day, it was against his conscience to permit him to play. <laughs> and if they meant to keep the day holy, they should keep it in fast and in prayer to their house. Well, there ain't been no celebrations of that kind, at least openly, since. Of course, on the other side of things, my doubter was wed this January past, on Twelfth Night. Now, you can hardly blame a man for celebrating his doubter's mm -hmm. wedding now, can you? <laughs> So we had a goodly celebration in this past fall. People are refatching the roof, and uh, probably not today, but another day they're going to be working on this. And uh, the captain thought it was easier for the fans if all the houses were in one line, with the doors and windows facing out into the street. So that way you could not be intruded upon without your attacker coming into the street where you could fight from the houses. Mm -hmm. It is not so necessary now that we are within the palisade, and so you find that there are houses thrown off the mm -hmm. street. You can see this is the lamp they put right in the post. See how they plastered it? Went right on up. Not a favorable thing to set him. Is this your job? <laughs> no. no I, I, my job right now. But, uh, Putting wedges in, are you? Or? Yeah. Is this table all set for, is this going to the wedding going to be here? Or? A feast. Ah, a feast. in Plymouth Village. This is uh, just an example of how they built the house. They have a nice cutaway here. And you can see the thatch. And it's interesting to see the, uh, the timbers and the shear and uh, the chimney construction. Okay. This is the Plymouth Plantation still. This is the Wampatuck Indian display. These were the native Indians when the pilgrims arrived here. I have known that you have out Acknowledge and declare. In
Where, where are you from? London. London. Have you always been a female? Um, uh, let's say. What's that? We have a man. He is a female. Really? Yeah. He's very well. Yeah. 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 We would be now greatly abated with the sickness. We do not expect those that have taken to that thing not to die. What the sailors, you're allowed to divvy up their belongings. I'm not allowed to do that with the passengers. I got a whole new wardrobe with nine sailors to the Zadornail. <laughs> This is the Mayflower 2 and we're in Plymouth. It's Sunday the 16th. Rock, they landed here in 1620. Ah! We're, at, uh, we're, we're in Concord, Massachusetts, real close to Lexington, and this is the North Bridge where the Shots heard around the world were first fired on April 19, 1776. It's a beautiful location. Okay, get... This side is where the British stood their ground and the colonists came over the other side and uh, there were two Englishmen killed and I think two Americans killed at this site right here. This is the famous Minuteman statue at Concord and the saying, by the rude bridge that arched the flood, their flag to April's breeze unfurled. Here once the embattled farmer stood and fired the shot heard round the world. Ralph Wal Waldor Emerson. We're in Kenny Kennebunkport, Maine and we are viewing the beautiful coastline and one of these couple of houses out here on the point is uh, George Bush's house. We're not sure which one. I think it's the brown one with the kind of bay window. Might be the one with the block. And we're here on, no, please, um, Tuesday, September 17th, 18th, 1990. Okay, now we're at the real Bush house. The first one was the false alarm. This is the next cove, and the locals say that this is the Bush compound at Kenny Bunkport. Get down. Yeah. Big fireplace. See the front yard? National Park and we're overlooking Frenchman's Bay. These are the Porcupine Islands. It's just the most beautiful place I've ever been. It's, uh, what, Thursday, September 20th? Just a shot. We're still at Acadia National Park and this is the one of the beaver ponds. And uh, here's a beaver dam. If you look around the edge of the pond, all the trees are uh, chewed down and there's a beaver den out in the middle of the pond. We don't see a beaver right now because they're nocturnal and uh, probably wouldn't see it unless it was early evening or even the middle of the night. It's just beautiful. Sam 
beach in Acadia National Park, We're right down by the water. It's the only sand beach they have. And the, uh, you can actually hear the roar of thunder when the waves crash up and of Acadia National Park, and uh, real windy up here, we're swooping down to the other side of the island, and this is uh, Bar Harbor down here, and the Porcupine Island, can you see the clipper ship down there? Just turn sideways, you can't see it there. Arcadia Campground at Arcadia National Park, and this is our campsite right here on the ocean. It's just uh, the prettiest campground campsite I've ever had. This is the sun setting. It's about six o'clock, I think. It's yeah, about six, six thirty on uh, September twentieth, still. You're at Long Pond, which is Arcadia National Park on Beach Mountain. Hey, Dad. Turn around. Hold give on, us a. I'll be here for a while. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna take a little nap there? Yeah. I mean, to bring your slippers. A couple of coffee. Yeah. 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 It's getting off the street. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to pitch forward. No. That's crazy. Acadia National Park and Ilahot, Swan Islands. This is um, Bass Harbor and then Southwest Harbor and the Cranberry Islands. Just the most beautiful uh, coastline. Over here is Cadillac Mountain and uh, the top end of Somme Sound. Tons of lakes and ponds and sounds and coastline. Fire tower, or just not. Yeah, our, our lookout tower. We're watching a lobster fisherman. He's pulling in his trap. Going to check and see if he's got any lobster here. This is the lobster trap. I don't see one in there, do you? Must be one in there because he's opening it up. You know? yep, you one, two.
setting sail now. We're going to take a couple hour cruise of the island. the charming little fishing village town of Camden, Maine, C-A-M-D-E-N, and there's lots of wind jammers in the harbor. Such a pretty little town. lovely harbor town. Great um, shipwreck schooners here on the sand flats, the mud flats here in the harbor. This is North Shore of uh, Massachusetts, and this is the famous statue to the fishermen. Rockport, and then to Salem, and back to the Boston Logan Airport.